we know the frictional force acting between the two bodies that are in the state of the rest is called static frictional force. So, let us imagine a rough surface and that rough surface let us imagine a body. Right now, these two bodies are in the state of rest. What is the frictional force? What is the static frictional force acting between them? Now, I want to tell you one simple point that if no external force is applied on the system, there is no frictional force. Friction only oppose the relative motion. When there is somebody who is trying to move the body, then friction comes into the picture and oppose the motion. In this case, there is no one trying to move the body, therefore there is no frictional force at all. So what happens if somebody applies some F? Then the body is tend to move because you have applied a force, that force will try to move the body. Whenever there is body tend to move, whenever there is trying to be a relative motion, then friction comes into the picture in the opposite direction. This is the direction of the frictional force. How much is that frictional force if suppose the body is in the state of rest uh, that is called F static frictional force uh, who is directly equal to normal reaction. You know what do you mean by normal reaction? We have discussed in the previous uh, videos that uh, uh, the upper body applies a force Mg on the lower surface. Uh, the lower surface reacts by applying a reaction of equal magnitude but in the opposite direction which is perpendicular to the surface that is why this is called as a normal surface and normal reaction. We know frictional force is directly proportional to normal reaction therefore we can say further that we can write Fs equal to by eliminating the proportionality we can put a constant mu s where mu s is called coefficient of static friction which of course depends on the nature of the surface but not on the frictional force and the normal uh, reaction. Let us assume that the mass of the body is equal to say 1 kilogram and uh, coefficient of friction is something like uh, 0 0.3. Then I can calculate what is the Fs is frictional forces using the formula mu s into normal reaction. Let us assume acceleration due to gravity is approximately 10 meter per second square. Then this is supposed to be equal to 3 Newton. But be careful this is not the frictional force 3 Newton always exists. This is actually called maximum static frictional force actually called maximum static frictional force sometimes also being called like a limiting frictional force. So what do you mean by this maximum frictional force how to understand it let us consider a small situation the same kind of a diagram let us imagine a body you are applying a force like this frictional force is acting in the opposite direction let us try to generate a small uh, table that uh, you have applied some force correspondingly what is the frictional forces I want to draw a, a small uh, table suppose I have applied 0 Newton this does not means that you have applied 0 Newton still there will be a frictional force acting that is equal to 3 Newton as I have solved in the problem which will pull the body in the opposite direction does this happens that you are trying to move a body then the friction comes into the picture if you have not applied any body any force on a body body will never move itself in the opposite direction because friction will never comes into the picture at that point the frictional force also becomes zero newton and keeps the body in the state of rest if you have applied one newton force then the frictional force also becomes one newton and still the body is in the state of rest if you have applied 2 Newton, frictional force also will become 2 Newton and body is kept in the state of rest itself. If you have applied 3 Newton, frictional force also becomes 3 Newton, body is still in the state of rest. If you have applied 3.1 Newton, frictional force at the best can become only 3 Newton that will stop there. Now there is an extra force. Because of the extra force, the body can move. In which direction? The direction of the extra force acting 
therefore body will be start moving in the direction of the f external applied with what acceleration i can write f resultant as f external that you have applied minus frictional force you can write f resultant as ma as per the newton law f external minus frictional force is equal to mu into normal reaction that is nothing but equal to mu into mg from this we can write a equation for the acceleration of the body as frictional f applied minus mu mg divided by the mass of the body remember all these things will happen only when your applied force sectional force is bigger than that of the static frictional force if your applied force is less than that of the static frictional force the body will never comes into the state of motion with the increasing external force from zero until the maximum static frictional force frictional force also increases and reaches its maximum it's like a friction is an intelligent force it is a self adjusting force it itself adjusts with respect to the applied force and keeps the body in the state of rest until the applied external force is equal to the maximum static frictional force that's why people call static frictional force as a self adjusting force there is no other force in the nature who can self adjust itself this is a a natural force uh, like a god given property which adjusts itself uh, and keeps the body in the state of rest so i would like to say two statements in the previous video we have said like a uh, friction is a necessary evil that's a important statement and here i would like to give another statement that uh, static friction is a self adjusting force no other force in the nature is uh, like this